Hello everyone, myself Pritish Maraj and today I am going to explain you about ECRLC series circuit analysis under different conditions of inductive reactance and capacitive reactance. RLC series circuit. An RLC circuit is an electrical circuit consisting of a resistor, inductor and a capacitor connected in series or in parallel. The name of the circuit is from the letters that are used to denote the constituent components of this circuit, where the sequence of the components may vary from RLC. Inductive reactance that is XL in a circuit. Inductive reactance or simply reactance is the resistance of an inductive circuit. Its formula is 2 pi FL. It is termed as in re reactance because it is slightly different from the resistance offered by any device and is denoted by XL. Below is the graph for inductive reactance in a circuit. Capacitive reactance that is XC in a circuit. A position to the flow of an alternating current by the capacitance of the circuit equal to 1 by 2 pi FC and measured in ohms. The ratio of effective voltage across the capacitor to the effective current is called the capacitive reactance and represents the opposition to the current flow. Below is the graph for capacitive reactance in a AC circuit. Hello everyone, myself Sakshi Majin. Today I am going to explain the behavior of RLC circuit depend on the value of inductive reactance and capacitive reactance that is XL and XC. There are three conditions in the circuit. First is inductive reactance is greater than capacitive reactance. Second, inductive reactance is less than capacitive reactance. And third, inductive reactance equal to capacitive reactance. First we see inductive reactance is greater than capacitive reactance. We know the equation of impedance Z equal to R plus XL minus XCJ. Z equal to R plus XJ as X equal to XL minus XC. Z equal to mod of Z angle phi. Mod of Z equal to under root R square plus XL minus XC bracket square. And phi equal to tan inverse of XL minus XC upon R. We know the equation of current I equal to V by Z voltage upon impedance Vm angle 0 by mod of Z angle phi I equal to Im angle minus phi uh, the equation of current equal to Im sin omega t minus phi so if V equal to Vm sin omega t then I equal to Im sin omega t as current lag voltage by angle phi form XL is greater than XC and phasor diagram for XL greater than XC Second condition if inductive reactance is less than capacitive reactance. Impedance Z equal to R minus XJ. X equal to XL minus XC. Mod of Z equal to under root R square plus XL minus XC bracket square. Phi equal to tan inverse of XL minus XC upon R. Z equal to mod of Z angle minus phi. Equation of current I equal to V by Z Vm angle 0 by mod of Z angle minus phi I equal to Im sin omega t plus phi So V equal to Vm sin omega t then I equal to Im sin omega t plus phi As current lead voltage by angle phi for XL is less than XC That is inductive reactance is less than capacitive reactance Phasor diagram for XL is less than XC. Third condition XL equal to XC. Impedance equal to Z equal to R. Mod of Z equal to R. I equal to I m sin omega t. So if V m V equal to V m sin omega t, then I equal to I m sin omega t. That is V and I, v and I remain in phase. Phasor diagram for XL equal to XC. Thank you.